Updates on female Marines in infantry training, seasonal uniform changeover, and results from the Marine Corps Marathon. All of that coming up next on the Corps Report. Welcome to the Corps Report. I'm Lance Corporal Clayton Filipovich. And I'm Lance Corporal Ali Beiswanger. Last month, the first group of female Marines began infantry training at Camp Geiger, North Carolina. 15 female Marines started the training and 12 made it through training day 24, completing all requirements of Marine combat training, which is mandatory training for all Marines. Five female Marines chose to leave training to proceed to their MOS schools. On Monday, the students, including the remaining seven female Marines, began their infantry exclusive training with a 20K hike. Three women and 26 men failed to complete the hike and will have a chance to try again next week. When asked about the remaining female Marines, Colonel Jeffrey Connor, the school's commanding officer, said, there is a high probability that some will be standing in formation at graduation. Sunday, November 3rd marks the end of daylight savings, and everyone will be setting their clocks back one hour. Along with the time change, Marines will be switching over to Woodland Marpat uniforms and Service Bravos. Dust off your camis and iron those ties so you're ready for the change. More than 30,000 runners gathered in Washington, D.C. to show their support for the Marine Corps on Sunday, October 27th. Jerma Abedida won the 38th Marine Corps Marathon with a time of 2 hours, 21 minutes, and 32 seconds. Army Captain Kelly Calway won for the women's category with a time of 2 hours, 42 minutes, and 16 seconds. A big thanks to everyone who came out for the event. Remember, you can catch up on everything else going on around the Corps by logging on to our official social media sites at YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, Pinterest, and Instagram. Those links are in our video description. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week right here on The Core Report. <laughs>